I would say you have two painting styles. Do you intentionally evolve them? Yes, I know I'm known for my caricature style, but I honestly feel like I am that is constantly evolving and changing as well. Um, and you know, I'm I'm a really big fan of, of art and illustration, and I'm a part of the Society of Illustrators, and I enter all these different shows, and there are a lot of artists and painters out there that really inspire me, and I try to to soak in as much as possible into my work and to help me to become a better and stronger artist. Um, so my caricature art is constantly growing. Uh, and I try to, you know, really, if you look at my work, I don't really do the same thing twice. I, I, I change things, uh, different brush strokes and so on. And I'm doing that intentionally because I get bored really easy, and so I'm trying to do something that, I, I, that I'm going to really like. Um, that, you know, yeah, really, I, I'm trying to, I guess, Im impress the art director and, and make my client happy, but I'm also trying to make myself happy. I want to make sure that everything is fun and exciting for me. Otherwise, I couldn't do this. I'd be so bored. Um, as far as my other style, I'm assuming that's that's meaning uh, my portrait work. Um, the older I get and the more I draw and paint, the more I appreciate and love work that's more painterly and more expressive. Uh, photorealism it, it impresses me technically. If I see a very amazing painting photorealistically, it, it's it's impressive, but it's also sort of like. Uh, well, I guess it makes me feel like, oh, well, that was a lot of work. You know, like it just, it's not, there's no mystery behind it to me. It's just a lot of work, patience, and ability. But to me, something that's more painterly and loose, like Sargent's paintings, I just, you know, love. Um, uh, Zorn, Anders, his paintings. Um, Jenny Seville uh, is one of my favorite painters very brushy, very expressive, and those paintings really, really move me. So, when I do my portrait work for Rolling Stone, mostly is what I've been doing portraits for. Um, and I've done a few other portraits, but mostly my portrait work so far has been for Rolling Stone. It's more realistic, but it's very stylized, I guess. And the reason behind that is because um, I kind of feel like if you're going to do a realistic portrait, um, you know, if you're going to try to do it as realistic as possible, just use photograph. It's boring to me. I would rather make it look more like a piece of art, and it is a piece of art, but I would rather leave my thumbprint on that. Um, caricature work, it's almost the opposite. It's like I'm caricaturing and exaggerating, pushing things, and painting it more hyper-realistic gives it sort of an awkward feeling. Like, it's so twisted, but yet it's beautifully painted, it's very real feeling. That's great for character. When it comes to portrait work, I feel like the more I do that, the more it just looks like a photograph. So, so when I do my paintings uh, for you know my portrait stuff, I, I I want it to be more loose, more expressive, more brushy, maybe more sketchy, uh, and it feels more alive that way to me. And that's um, that's my main reason behind it. I don't know. Um, there's not really any any other real explanation except for the fact that it also makes me feel good, like I feel like I'm having fun, you know. Uh, portrait drawing to me is different than caricature. Caricature, I'm drawing more with feeling. Portrait work at the beginning is more like I've got to measure and get things just right. Uh, but then I use my caricature, uh, understanding of caricature anyway, and capturing character and essence, and I try to throw that into my portrait work, and hopefully I can mesh the two together where there's a nice mix between the two. Um, but to tell you the truth, I'm, I, I'm still learning and still figuring this all out. I, 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 I can't wait to my next Rolling Stone painting to see what happens next. I, I, every single, I've done five or six now, and every one of them, um, I feel it's better and better, and it's, um, they, they give me the freedom, which is awesome, to, you know, they basically say, just do a really cool painting for us, and like make it look cool and they'll suggest maybe certain colors they like or, or you know maybe they want more of a face or more of a body 
but other than that, they just basically just let me do what I do, and um, it's really exciting. And um, I feel like, uh, in a way, I still feel like such a student. Like I feel like I have a lot to learn, um, and uh, really excited uh, to continue pushing my my work into this direction. Thanks for watching another Mad Artist interview. See the full interview at thecompleteartistbook.com. Buy the video workshop and learn from the top industry professionals today. For more interviews and video workshops, visit madartistpublishing.com. It's time to get on the map.